Jen here from TT for T, and today we are going to talk about following a hashtag in TweetDeck. Well, once you get into TweetDeck, you will notice that tweets now appear in columns. My kids kind of think I look like I'm an air traffic controller with lots of different things going on at the same time. And that's exactly what you have happening. In the first column is your home feed. And these are tweets in this column from anyone who you follow. So that's your home feed. Now the at column is anybody who specifically mentioned your handle. So all of these people tweeted to at Techie Feldy. And so they all fall in this column so I can easily see things that are supposed to be brought to my attention. Then over here is the inbox, which is something that's more just like an email back and forth. It's a private type of a communication between two people. So when you use a direct message, they'll all fall here and it's called your inbox, kind of like an email. So direct messages are just between you and the other person. None of your followers will see it. And then over here are columns that you might add. So this is a column of a list I'm following of our Bellevue people. And this is a list of people that I'm following from a college class. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and add your own columns in here for hashtags you want to follow. So for example, let's say I want to follow EdChat and see what EdChat's doing. Up here at the top, I can click to add column. Just click the plus. Now I have different choices come up here. So what I want to do is do this search. So click on search and then enter the hashtag or a keyword. So I already have my BPS up and I have my Peru 552 up. I can enter a hashtag for like EdChat and push enter. And now this is the column of EdChat. So anyone who's tweeting and puts the hashtag EdChat up will fall into this column. So I will click on add column. Now I'm going to close and now I have the column EdChat. Now this is kind of the neat part about columns. If I want to manage the column, I can come to the very top and notice now this little gear appears. It's not there and now it is. So as your mouse moves up, the gear appears and those are your settings. So when you click that, you can take a peek and you can move the position of the column. So for example, I can use my left arrow and move it over and even move it over again so now that it appears on my front page. I can even move it again so it can continue to be in a spot where I can really see it. So that's very easy if I want to move it to the right. I just click and it moves to the right. Click on the left and it moves to the left. Now I have some other options too. I can click here for a notification sound. So it will beep every time someone tweets into the column. Now I'm not a big fan of that for, for example, EdChat. But maybe I would like that to happen in the column for my inbox or people who at mention me. You can also have a notification pop-up. And if I put that on, whenever somebody tweets to this column, then it will pop up on my screen and tell me somebody has tweeted there. I can also remove the column or I can also clear and get every all the contents out of this column. When I'm done, I can just click out of there and uh, those settings will take effect. Now, while I'm working in the TweetDeck environment, if I also want to come over here and let's look at adding one more search here. The other thing that I can do is click on my plus to add a column again. And here, if I happen to have a list or if you want to follow your teacher's list, you can click on lists. Now these are all the lists that I have created. So if I want to follow my list of, let's say, Google Certified Teachers, I can click here and look at Google Certified and add a column. Now I have a list of my Google Certified Teachers that are here and tweeting to this column. So lists are a really neat way to manage people so that you can just pull up a column and just see, hey, what are people who are Google Certified doing? Or what's a group of fifth grade teachers doing? So that's another way that you can use um, the tweet deck to organize lists that you may have created. Now, you may get tired of your column, 
And if you do, you just come up to your gear and you can just simply remove the column and you can get rid of that column. So it's very simple to add columns or to remove the columns. So that's a little bit how to utilize Twitter to follow a hashtag using TweetDeck.